Adventure mode is the story mode in Don't Star, where the player enters a battle of wits and endurance against the mastermind that is Maxwell. When you go through Maxwell's door, you're presented with five chapters that all offers a unique set of hurdles to overcome. Complete all five without dying and you'll take home the prize. What prize, you say? You ask? Well, I don't really know, as I've yet to complete it. There are six possible challenges to get. They're in somewhat of a random order, but chapter five is always the challenge, Darkness. Which is where I last perished by one of Maxwell's booby traps. If you die, you're tossed back into the world unharmed and will have to start from scratch. I know, right? Ouch. I've done a playthrough series of adventure mode on this channel before without success. So I'm taking a lot of that painful experience into this video and this time, I've got a plan. You found my portal, did you? You'd think you've learned your lesson by now. No, I haven't. Why would I? I might have died a couple of times before, but that's not gonna stop me. You spawn in the main area, which have a lot of great resources. And the other islands are connected by bridges. Each bridge guarded by a unique set of enemies. It can be the stick-legged eyeballs or even the dominant chess pieces. But that's not gonna stop us. A couple of wooden pieces for chessboard. We can play chess. I'm a master chess player. I'm a master gamer. I'm a masturbator. For each chapter you complete, you're allowed to bring four items into the next chapter. So you can plan a little bit, but Maxwell also likes to mix things up by changing the order of the chapters. It would also be nice to make a beefalo hat this time around instead of a winter hat because the beefalo hat offers more insulation. I know the blue caps offer sanity. Does the green cap offer sanity? 75. It does offer sanity but your HP takes a toll. It's never too late to learn arsony. Take your arsony to a new level. It's never too late. One of the greatest enemies in this game is winter and the cold. Which is why I'll be burning everything in my proximity when my body temperature is getting low. If you're too cold you'll start to freeze and take damage. Hello Abigail, thank you for joining us. You do your thing. We're playing as Wendy, which apparently is one of the weakest characters. But I've decided to stick with Wendy through thick and thin. One of the perks though, playing as Wendy, is that you can spawn her ghost sister Abigail, the Arachne Slayer. We got one region, two regions, three and four. So we actually have everything. So let's look into the savannah, and I think the savannah region is over here. Back to said plan. Chapter 5 is still where we're going to be faced with the biggest challenge. Daytime and sunlight is out the window, and we're met with eternal darkness. Your sanity will drain due to this, and as you might know, if you're not illuminated, the big bad monster eats you. So we want to bring a miner's hat, fuel for the hat in the form of fireflies, a log suit for initial protection and dry jerky to sustain us, as a quality meal was also hard to come by. Abigail, I'm gonna let you do all the work actually. This is awesome! Whoa, whoa, whoa! So the master plan is to gather as much resources as possible. Create a science and alchemy machine to create a prototype for each item we will need on this journey. Because when you create a prototype, you've learned that blueprint and won't need the science machine anymore. So you can create the item on the fly as long as you have the necessary materials. But I'm just gonna jog on and you're gonna have to do everything. This is a great tactic, the strategy here. I'm a mastermind, master gamer, bro! Attack him, come on! Kill him! Haunt him! Enter his brain, make him insane! They don't attack Abigail for... for unknown reasons. What the fuck?! No! <laughs> you thought that I would just plow on through everything in this video, didn't you? Haha, <laughs> well, turns out I still suck. Yes. Just, yes, fuck off. Fine. We'll just start collecting again. There are at least two chapters that are quite heavy on the winter aspect. So we will not prioritize the miner's hat in the beginning, but put our efforts into the thermal stone, which will help to keep us warm. I like the music in the background here. It's hopeful. Time to get to work. And we're working. The circumstances change from each chapter, but the objective is always the same. Find the four quest items and use them to activate the portal and travel to the next stage. It took me some time, but I was able to figure out that you can use the divining rod in a game of hot or cold to find the items quicker and not having to entirely guess their location on the map. I picked up the basic materials to create the basic tools like an axe, pickaxe, and dodged a few spiders while warming myself up by lighting up a nearby tree. As I tucked my torch away and the fire stopped, darkness took me. <laughs> I'm not afraid of you, darkness. I am afraid of breathing buttholes, though. <sighs> ah! I'm not gonna go into the swamp if I don't have to in the beginning. The reason being I'm missing a log suit, and the tentacles do a lot of damage and can really smack you around. But when I was mapping out the area, I realized I need to go through the swamp, or I could actually just go through the wormhole. Yeah. I could go through the wormhole. The wormhole is my friend. He's my friend. He's not gonna hurt me, that butthole. He's my friend. Yeah, let's eat a few carrots. Maybe a few berries. Why not? I like to keep a varied diet. With a full belly, I jumped through the wormhole. 
Wahoo! And we're spit out on the other side into the swamp. Now I didn't have a choice. We would have to be brave and tread lightly, but we got lucky and found our first piece of the puzzle. It might be close. Where might it be? Where might it be? I'm just playing. Uh, let's make a grass suit, actually. A grass suit will offer us a small increase in protection, should the tentacle come and visit for a slap in time. With one in the bag, I equipped the rod to see if we could get a signal for the next item. Oh, can they offer me maybe a tentacle spike as a weapon? Well, no, not if they do it that way. But this is food. A tentacle spike would be nice as it does quite good damage, but I will go for the handbag when I have the material. It doesn't break the same way as a regular weapon or tool would do. Abigail is ready to play, but she needs some space. We need to sacrifice something in her presence to the gods in order for her to spawn. She's a little bit cranky in the morning. <laughs> she's not a morning person. She's not even a person at all. <laughs> Actually, she's a fucking ghost. I continued through the swamp, waiting for the rod to give off a little peep, and ran into the remains of a battle between tentacles and mermen. It gave me a free spike to use. Have I been here already? Oh yeah, I think I've... Okay, now I've traveled... <laughs> I'm going in circles, guys. Not paying attention. So I've been here. Uh, that means just go back into the wormhole. Maybe we need to go through all... Maybe there's just wormholes in uh, Archipelago. I don't remember if that's the case. With Archipelago, you're spawned on one out of six islands and have to go through these wormholes to jump to another island and progress through the level. I found another tentacle spike, so I grabbed that, went through the wormhole and left one of the spikes as a backup, close to the wormhole to not cramp up my inventory. I then laid down Abigail's flower and killed a spider to spawn my dear sister. I also tangled with a few tentacles. Boop, 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 boop. Does she take aggro 100%? Yes, she does. Fucking A. I'll help Abigail. I think this- I, I think Abigail is the main character. And I'm- I'm the assistant. I'm the helper. She's the main character. We killed a few more spiders for their glance and silk. Kill them all, Abigail. Kill them all! Oh, she died. Yeah, those tentacles. Oh my god, they make a lot of damage. They do do a lot of damage. But I also left Abigail tanking a little too much. That's on me. Brown. Got a signal. On the lookout, I found a suspicious dirt pile that can lead to a colophant. If killed, it gives you a lot of meat, and a colophant trunk can either be digested for satiation and HP, or used in a different blueprint and crafting options. So I went ahead and tracked it. I don't want to get stuck between a, a tentacle and a colophant, though. Oh! Oh! But you can't reach me, I'm too quick. I'm agile. Woo, chi, ha, he, ha, coo, coo. You can't catch me, sonny! I sense the beast presence nearby. Not sure if I have an inmate to actually try and kill one of these guys. I mean, they're quite dangerous. But I went in head first and I got a lucky helper. Oh yeah, baby. Tentacles. I've misjudged you. I'm sorry. I've given you the blame. You're a misunderstood creature. Eight big slabs of meat straight into the bank account. I skipped the trunk as I deemed it useless this early, and I don't need it for any planned blueprints either. Gold is probably something that we're not gonna find. That's probably the, the item co or commodity that, that's missing. Oh, shh. Woo. Walking into a brawl here. Penises and fish people. Whoa, from every side. Oh. There always seems to be one commodity missing from each chapter, or at least a little harder to find. Bring on daylight. Please! I got out of harm's way and continued my search for the next item. I found two new wormholes, but looked around a little more to see if we could find a signal. Yeah, there we go. I took the opportunity and replaced my damaged spike for a fresh one. Yeah, we're getting closer. But this is Archipelago. Oh, it's obviously in another region, so... And these two probably go to, an, to other regions, so oh, we need to go back. Spit us out into bee infested territory. All the items seem to be very close to the wormhole openings. Something wicked is here. Yay, oh, it's gonna be the crank thing. I rid myself of the bees and then got caught up in a pork-infused spider battle. I don't have time to fuck spiders, okay? Get out. I got the second quest item, took a few sips of liquid gold and picked up Abigail again as she wasn't ready to spawn. After that, I started looking for the next wormhole to go through. We found it really quick and just had to take care of the pest problem. Crikey, these fucking spiders are looking for a rumbling time. Well, hello. Exactly what we need. Gold. With gold nearby, we mined what we could before creating a science machine and made ourselves a backpack to expand our inventory. I think there's a strong possibility that we're gonna get a cold reception or maybe a king of winter in the next upcoming world, chapter two. So if we can, I think we should try and find some beefalo and make ourselves a beefalo hat or winter hat and put that through the portal. 
I think the beefalo hat is a little bit stronger. It offers a little bit more insulation than the winter hat. So we should go for the beefalo hat if we can. And I'm going to throw in a thermal stone, which will enable us to survive a little longer before we start to freeze. Yes, it's very close. Yes. This time it wasn't an item, but the portal site. I didn't think the same island would carry a quest item as well, so I looked for the next wormhole and jumped through. But not before I replaced my grass suit with the better and improved log suit. Oh, I emerge into this world once more. Draws closer, baby. Come here, dick face. Meet my sister, Abigail. <laughs> I'll leave these guys to you. Ooh, mama, she's amazing. Abigail, you're killing the shoon. She's like the T-1000. I need your glands, your silk, and your monster meat. Give it to me now. Me and Abigail fought the arachnids through the night until we were overrun in the morning. And Abigail sadly perished into the void again. Oh. Whoa. -ho -ho -ho. Oh. Nah, she did. I was missing wood for the alchemy machine, so I lumberjacked a few trees. Well, if it isn't my friend and buddy, Kermit's cousin. The darting great. <laughs> These pesky, nightmarish creatures will be more and more of a hassle later in the game. They'll constantly be by our side in Chapter 5 due to our low sanity. After jacking up the lumber, we equipped the rod and checked for a signal. Yeah, it's here, but I don't see it. Where is it? Where is it? Here it is, the box thing. With this many islands, I was now confused and didn't remember which ones I had found an item at. So I went back to my science camp and built the alchemy machine before moving any further into the wild. Alchemy, activate. See what potions we can brew up. As I didn't have any new wormholes in this region and the portal was here, I figured I must have missed an item earlier or even missed a wormhole. So I started to backtrack through the islands. Go, 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 go. Yeah. I wonder if I'm a little bit too cocky again, going inside a swamp here without a uh, log suit or noggin helmet. But it's not as dangerous when it's not night. I can see the ground. Yeah, I've been here, but there's no other wormhole here. Might be in these patchy areas. This is nice though. Pigskin and twigs. Listen for those breathing buttholes. There's just one anus in this region, so we'll go back. A light in the black. Oh, just a fear of the dark. I was brave enough to equip the rod during the night to see if I had a signal in this new region. It's close. Bingo. I followed the signal and quickly found the last item. The one ring uh, thing. Okay, now we, now we have everything. That wasn't too hard. Archipelago, you fucking suck. But we were not ready to leave for the next chapter. We still needed to make a lot of blueprints and prepare what items to bring. As we were in the savannah, I made a new science machine so that I could craft a razor for a possible beefalo shaving party. But I also need one of their horns, so that doesn't really help me, does it? So we might just kill one if we can find it. one stray looking motherfucker. I figured I might be able to lure a beefalo away if I fed him. I grabbed the first thing I could in the inventory, which was a spider gland. I can heal him? <laughs> I can heal a beefalo? Which accomplished nothing at the time. But it was far away enough for me to courage up and kick his ass. But no horn, and I need horn. So we would continue the mayhem on these poor creatures until they dropped one for our target, the beefalo hat. Maybe we can just run around them as well. No, we can't. <laughs> I'm sorry, Abigail. I'm sorry. Oh, you're taking so much damage. Abigail died for the millionth time, so we would have to go at it alone, killing every beefalo that strayed from the herd. Just give me one teeny tiny little horn. Teeny tiny little horn, that's all I ask for. That's all I ask for. During the long slaughter, I picked up a new trick which enabled me to kill them even more efficiently. Oh, it's nice to go up or down for a faster attack from the beefalo so you can attack him a lot quicker. I'm a experienced beefalo killing machine. Ah, oh, there we go, that's, there's the horn. So I started walking back, picking up what we could on the way as well as chopping a few trees. This is a gr I think this is a great base for all the other chapters. I'm getting a lot of stuff. I think I can fix everything that I need so I don't need to use any more alchemy or science machine-y things. Woo! Through we go. Hambat. Prototype one of those bad boys. As well as making a hambat, I also made a noggin helmet. Prepared a straw hat that would be used in crafting the miner's hat. And a net so that we could catch a firefly, which is also needed for the same blueprint. I also made one healing cell for the future and wanted to make a drying rack so we can dry meat for jerky. But we were missing charcoal. Easily obtained though, if you're an arsonist like myself. Yeah, baby. Oh, it didn't spread. I think it only took everything that wasn't already burning when I jumped through. So it seems at least. And so it is. 
I created the drying rack to complete the blueprint, but if I were to dry all the meat now, that would be stale by the time we hit up chapter 5, so I didn't bother right now. Instead I prepared a few meals to get my hunger back on track as well as my HP and sanity. These stats are not reset when going through to the next chapter. I also prepped what persistent items I could, like a fire, fire pit, science and alchemy machine, because if you don't place them on the ground, you can use them later, through the chapters, without having to spend anything. Yeah, 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 these hounds. I don't, I don't care about the hounds. They can come. I'll fuck them up. I made the bark go away and Abigail join us again. Be follow hat. Be one with the herd. Cool. Is that everything? Oh, no. The miner's hat. I want to create one of those first. So I need to wait until there's nightfall. Fireflies only come out during the night and then we catch them with our net. This level was... Um, yeah, knock on wood. I'm not done, but this was super easy this time. As I waited for nightfall, I went up to the portal to clear up the guarding chess pieces. With a log suit and a helmet, I feel well protected and usually just go in swinging. Maybe try and do a dodge here and there if I'm in the mood. I prepare the portal by adding all the items and place the divining rod in the keyhole. <laughs> Leaving your nest unguarded? What kind of mother are you? He might not s stop chasing me now that I... I snatched his egg. No, he's got a vendetta. I smacked the eyeball that wouldn't stop chasing me and got a few sticks of meat. We then searched for fireflies in the night, but it seemed futile. There's not enough time for fireflies to spawn. Nighttime was really short during this chapter. So I went back to camp and prepared our journey through the portal. Okay, what are we pulling through? We're pulling through the log suit, a possible ham bat, the beefalo hat, and thermal stone. Is that a good one? Ham bat, log suit, beefalo hat, and thermal stone. With a high probability for winter, I'd say it's the right choices. So this one, this one, this one, this one. Activate. Let's go. We're leaving. I think I prepared pretty much everything that I needed to prepare. You survived 11 days. Easy. Easy money. Chapter 1 went down smooth with little to no resistance. Textbook example of how to play this game. Take notes, children. A cold reception. Oh, I should have made an umbrella. I should have made an umbrella. Cold reception, I remember that one. Rained a lot. One down, four to go. Yes, one down, four to go, indeed. I don't think it shows, but I, I think wetness actually is a thing in this game as well. You just don't see it. But I, I, I'm not 100% sure. <laughs> I looked it up and it seems like wetness is first introduced as a full-fledged mechanic in Reign of Giants. So we should be safe from the devastating H2O. Ooh, a walking cane. Maybe we want a walking cane for Chapter 5 Darkness as well. A walking cane would make us run a lot faster through all those pesky chessboard dudes. Last time Chapter 5 was filled with the chessboard enemies, which killed me. A walking cane would make us run faster, but I think it would be at the sacrifice of another item through the portal, so I'm not sure it's the right choice. Move, 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 you cows. Oh, it starts to rain again. It's a rainy episode. The days aren't very long. Seems like a, a little more than a third, maybe? In this chapter, the day does not get longer than a third, and the seasons change rapidly. A rainy six days of summer followed by a snowy three days of winter, which makes exploration difficult and dangerous but we come prepared with our warm hat and thermal stone. I looked into crafting an umbrella or posh parasol as I was a little frightened that the rain would cause issues. I chose a parasol for the time being as I didn't have the materials for an umbrella. Oh, it's chapter two, Kermit's Rebellion. You look tasty. Let me just grab my taste organ and lick you all over. Mmm, you taste great. Oh, and they already want to fuck with me. You have to be careful in these situations. Aggro one of these frogs and they'll all jump you. Oh. Okay. At least Kermit and his buddies are sleeping during the night. As one must do, I gathered the basic materials to survive the upcoming days. This includes grass, twigs, flints, logs and more, so we're always able to create a campfire in need or at least a torch so that we can always be on the move, which is really important. Oh yeah, what am I doing? I have everything I need to just create a backpack. Why am I not creating a backpack? Much easier. I equipped the rod and instantly got a beep. I followed the general direction of the signal and gathered what I could on the way. Something wicked is here. And it's a box thingy. Unfortunately, there wasn't anything else in the vicinity. So I checked the map and made my way towards unfamiliar grounds. I cooked and ate my carrots for dinner and made a new torch as nightfall was creeping in. Every once in a while, I checked to see if I would get a signal from the rod. 
But you have to be fast and re-equip the torch, or you'll get torn to shreds. But by what? I don't know. Is there some lore here? If you know, please let me know in the comments. What is it that kills you during the night if you're not illuminated? At daybreak, I bonked a few spiders on their head for their silk and made the straw hat as a first step towards the miner's hat. I secured some food rations by killing this walking beef man. At least we don't have a red poopy bottle situation going on right now. During mating season, these cows get angry and very territorial. So if you see a red bum, run. I might also get a few gold. I, I, I need gold for a miner's hat, don't I? So yeah, good thinking. There's not much this world can throw at me now, I think, that I'm not able to handle in a very good and fashionable way. It's chapter five that offers the real challenge right now. A good start to a chapter really calms one's nerves. Still no signal, so I stopped by this sorry excuse of a bird, put down Abigail's flower and started swinging. I kept mapping out the area, and when nightfall came I sent my first fireflies. So I created a net and went for a Hail Mary in the darkness. Whoa. A little further down the road, we ran into a rather special encampment. Whoa! Pigs that know kung fu! I'm pretty sure there's something in here. Draws closer, yeah. How am I supposed to make it through here? They're all aggressive. Fuck off, you go away. I protect, I attack, but most importantly, <laughs> I love my king. <laughs> you may know kung fu, that doesn't protect you from my hand bat. These pigs are offering up a challenge. I took a short break from the pork slaying and cooked some of them to restore a few points of HP and satiate myself. I then put up an alchemy machine and crafted the miner's hat. With the hat, I could now go on in the night without using a torch. Torch get low. With them bottom bacon jeans, with the fur, he hit the floor. Gotta get low, 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 low. With all pigs dead, we moved through the pig king's camp and found our second item. I then continued in the same general direction and found a bridge that was blocked off by a few boulders. I cleared them as I was sure there should be something over here. I feel like there should be something over here. Yeah. Wickedness draws closer. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Yeah, bye bye. Yeah, bye bye. No, baby. It's easy to lose a signal, but you'll find it quickly again. <laughs> Fuck you, Mandrake. <laughs> I ate one of those Mandrakes last time, and let me tell you, it was lights out. Hoof, head first into the floor, unconscious. I survived, but the situation got tricky. Kermit, stop it. When it rains, the amount of amphibians seems to increase by a whooping 4,000% but we managed to snatch the crank thing right in front of their taste buds anyway. We avoided the forest fire and continued to follow the road. I deviated from it a bit and found another bridge into another biome and quickly found the last item. Here it is. Then we have everything. Then we just need to find the portal. Oh, and it's close. That's a pretty quick round. Either Maxwell was kind to us where I've gotten better. I'll let you decide. I snatched what I could from the farm and then I started to look for the portal. Oh, and as you can see, we're getting closer to winter. But we, I mean, we can do this before we get to winter. We might do this before we get to winter. That's fucking awesome. Ah, there it is. I threw together a campfire to take care of the empty stomach situation, and then I started to clear the board. I'm already done with this chapter, basically. I mean, how crazy is that? This was a really fast chapter. Just six days. Just six days. After a game of Jenga, we were ready to leave. I changed the log suit for the miner's hat and threw in the thermal stone, beefalo hat, and the habat. I mean, we're already at chapter three. Ha ha, yes, go die, Maxwell. Good eye. You survived five days. It's not even six days. It's not even six days. It's just five days. Beautiful. Mwah, mwah. What chapter might we get now? Two worlds. This one I didn't get before, because it bugged out. Let's make a deal. You can stay here or settle down even. I'll give you food, gold, pigs, whatever you need. Why would I need pigs? All I want in return is a truce. Are we in some sort of war? Didn't know that. Ooh. Well, will you look at this, Maxwell? You're a fine, fine man and I'll stay here. I can sleep. I've got a fire pit. Oh, everything is so beautiful. Everything is just so beautiful. I've not played this chapter before. During my first attempt at this, it actually bugged out. I completed chapter two, went through the portal. The game told me I reached chapter three, which was two worlds, like now, but I wasn't transferred and was returned to the same world and could just use the portal again. And just like that, I was in chapter four. 
which was fucking great at the time. Maxwell has probably given us an island and we can stay here, we can thrive here. But if we go through that wormhole, shit might hit the fan. Don't be scared, little rabbits. I'm not here for you. It is actually Maxwell that I want, okay? We want to succeed, but we do not want it to be at the cost of other lives, of rabbit lives. We want to succeed without killing everybody. We want to succeed without killing the rabbits, okay? Oh, this is way too big to just be a small little island. I explored the island for a bit, and it tried to entice me with all its offerings. It was food, shelter, an empire ruled by pork people. It had everything. Oh, save king. Oh, there's a internal war going on here. I picked up a few more things, and the island also offered me a new shot at eating a mandrake. Yeah, you may look tasty, sound tasty, dance in a tasty way, but you were not tasty. You were not tasty at all. Maybe a little bit tasty, but also not very tasty. I explored a bit more before deciding to jump through the wormhole and see where it would take me. I prepared by cooking and eating my newly farmed carrots. Well, let's go. Oh, we're going right into swamp. The swamp is the most dangerous, at least for me. And you know why. The penises. Always the penises. Right through the hole, we found the portal. The chase was on. I, sh I want to um, take off in the divining rod menu that it doesn't... It's not supposed to find the portal anymore because I found it. Stop giving me a signal for the portal. Obviously, I'm a little bit more on edge now because this is a new chapter that I have done before. So it might offer some challenges for us and some surprises. And surprises in this game is bad. I should have done a better job at preparing for the upcoming hurdles at the main island where there was peace between all species. It was naive of me to just jump through a wormhole. Bam, bam, bam. Bang. I walked a little further up north so that I would be out of range from the portal and got a new signal. It's very close now. Very close. Yes. It's here. I don't know where, but it's here. It's over there. Yeehaw! Pick it up and leave. Oh! The next item was already super close. Just a few more clicks up north. I just had to dodge a few spiders and tentacles. Thank you. Oh, it's still very close? Where is it? Oh, that's a jackpot, ladies and gentlemen. Three out of four items and the whereabouts of the portal was already established. I was going for the record. I ate a few berries and lynched the farm before moving on. We might just need to go this way and then we might find everything. That might be it. <laughs> or everything, there's just one thing left. I moved like Jagger and didn't care to pick anything up or mind my surroundings at all. My main concern was to find the last item and just leave for the next chapter as soon as possible. I walked through a few biomes, dodged a few nasty barky barkies, and got the signal in the swamp. It's very close. Oh! E! Ah! Oh! E! Ah! Oh! Fuck yeah, we got everything. Let's leave this godforsaken place. Back to the portal we went. Prepare the mandatory meal before the big and upcoming chess game. These are not as dangerous as I remember, but that was wet because I played without a log suit. With the chessboard cleared, I fetched the items and my things, assembled the portal and moved on through. That one, thermal stone, ham bat, and this one. Activate, let's go. Darkness has swallowed me. I could have made a mistake, I didn't. Do not bug out, do not kill me. Do not kill me. Two days, this was the shortest one. Two worlds? Puh. Why would I ever think that you were gonna be a match against the mighty Wendy and Abigail team? Abigail, you didn't do anything. But Wendy and I, Bubba Gnoosh, we did everything, didn't we? So it's gonna be King of Winter or a game. The game is afoot now then, I think. It's the only ones left. And it's gonna be the King of Winter, Obelisks. Oh, things are burning. So bam, you're really pushing your luck. Turn back now, or I may have to resort to drastic measures. Are these not drastic measures enough? Warm up my thermal stone, please. It's goddamn cold out here, and I need it to be uh, warm, survive, thrive, all that good stuff, you know? Please warm it up. This chapter is one of the hardest ones. It's endless winter. The days are short, and the ever-present effect of freezing lingers upon you behind every corner. But there is more. Deer clubs will also spawn at some point, and at least one item will be locked off by a set of obelisks or boulders. You just hope it's the latter of the two. Hello, I'm trying to cut some wood here. Even though we got one of the hardest chapters in front of us, I was still pretty calm and composed. I've done this before, knew what to expect, and my day-to-day -day survival skills are higher than ever. Oh, hello. It's night time. Night time. Day time. Oh, <laughs> I've got two thermal stones again. That's actually good though. 
we find a touchstone, put down one of those uh, thermal stones close to that touchstone and you will survive, thrive, and you will win this game or save yourself from an impending doom. Something I picked up from my last try. If you find a touchstone, be sure to leave a survival kit for when you die. Otherwise, you're just tormenting yourself a second time. And that's double suffrage. The miner's hat is a great replacement for the torch during nighttime. It frees up your hands so you're free to bonk enemies on their head. Just be sure not to. Don't waste your, f your precious fuel. Don't waste that precious fuel, man. Get some shrooms for that sanity. Something I don't understand. <laughs> it's backwards, in my opinion. It's also the wrong type of shroom I'm looking for. I'm out for blue ones. If cooked, they restore 10 sanity, which is great if we will be greeted by obelisks. And if you do not know what the obelisk does, well, you'll understand later. My miner's hat was running out of fuel, so I created myself a net to catch more fireflies. Don't starve sort of way of siphoning out fuel from nature. I was out investigating when I came upon a touchstone. I put down my extra thermal stone as well as an extra torch so we could heat us up in the vent of our death. I then checked for a signal. It's this way. It's here. I can feel the wickedness. Ring thing acquired. And I got a new signal. Yes. 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 Box thing acquired. Two items within minutes of each other. Mm-mm. Perfetto. But we were also met with some bad news. Ah, uh, here's the obelisks. The first time I faced these, I was banging my head against the wall. I could not figure out how to get past them, and I had explored the entire map. It was the only way forward. For them to be lowered, you have to lower your sanity to the point where you have gone insane. And that can be dangerous, as your mind starting playing tricks on you. I created two drying racks, but we are going to need a lot more if we don't want to stay here for an extra 100 days and just watching meat dry. I started to freeze and realized that I'm not even using the beefalo hat. Why am I not using it? Let's use it. I'm a beautiful, confident young woman who does not need to smoke. At the other side of the region, I found a reverse set of obelisks and not too deep inside. Something wicked is here. Where is it then? Show it to me. All of it. Might as well catch like 20 of these and bring them instead of a net. So I have all the fuel that I need, so I don't need to panic later on. It's here. But where? Over here, over here. Got potatoes. What's potatoes? Your mama. Three out of four items. Good stuff. As we're getting closer to finding everything, I now also need to find a good source of meat and collect a lot of grass for ropes so we can build more, and I mean a lot more, drying racks. Maybe we should just go through uh, the other set of obelisks. Are we getting a, f a little bit of a better signal? Yeah, there is something over here. We might need to do this. Yes. <laughs> yes. And there's a lot of grass here as well. Maxwell is good for this run. Good. I put on my beautiful and horny hat, gathered some grass in the general direction of the signal and ran into the portal. Then I placed all my drying racks at the s wrong site. Damn. Oh, uh, with three out of four items and the knowledge where the portal resides, I now knew the next location for the last item, behind those pesky obelisks. But we still needed 20 meat to drive for the next chapter. We're gonna have to do a beefalo thing. We're gonna have to do a beefalo thing. I used my hat and was one with the herd, but there was no fooling these gentle creatures. Attack one and more are sure to back him up, our first victim. Get ready to run. Bop. This beefalo hunt would go on for some time. We needed a lot of meat. See the remains of other fallen beefalo. This should deter you from following me any further, but you're not for some reason. Oh man. Oh man. Oh man. Man, 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 man. I can also eat meat actually to fuck my sanity up later on. I'm such a great beefalo hunter and killer right now. It's amazing. I also neglected my sanity as much as possible to be ready for the journey beyond the obelisks. Whoop. Are you gonna give me trouble? You're gonna give me trouble, sir. Sir, I'm leaving. I don't need the shanter. I got the uh, beefalo hat thing. It's supposed to be a beefalo here somewhere. Where did he come from? Where did you go, beefalo Joe? Here you are. With more than 20 sticks of meat in the bag and a declining mental state, it was time to go beyond the pillars of sanity. I hung up a few pieces to dry and I timed the sanity drop to perfection. On the other side of the pillars, I made a campfire and ate some before equipping the rod and followed the signal. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. Oh. Ah. Uh, 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 Here we go. Crank thing. The last one. King of winter. Pfft. You suck. Who are you king over? Nobody. That's who. When you're this good, you're allowed to be a little cocky. 
Now on the other side we can start to regain some sanity. Killing these mind flayers restores a small amount of sanity. It usually takes you back over the limit from clinically insane to just a little insane. I think the chapter 5, if we can get a really good start with 20 jerky and all that good stuff, then we should just run and try and find everything super, super quick. As we won't need to stop and look for food, we don't need to collect as much to craft what we need. Plus, we might not need to deal with the shadow monsters as much if we keep our sanity in check. Then we should be able to focus on the objectives and minimize downtime. Heat ourselves up. I was also out for more ashes and rocks to make healing cells to restore some of this lost HP. With this low amount of HP, a simple mistake can take us down. Nice. Feels good to have some more HP again. I'm not as vulnerable. There might be some sort of deer clubs here somewhere. I think he's over there. So let's go this way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. No, 16. 16 is gonna have to do. I think that's enough as well. I mean, 18 fireflies, fucking enough. It's gotta be enough. It's gotta be enough. When things go a little too slow for my taste, I start to bargain with myself. I can surely kill Max with just my pinky, right? I don't need a weapon. But I felt confident enough that the amount that I've gathered and acquired was going to be enough to take on chapter 5. We just had to wait for the last pieces of meat to dry and we would be off. What a great run so far. What a great run so far. A million times better than my r first run. Well, maybe I shouldn't be surprised. The question is, why are you guys so surprised? I'm a god gamer in human form. I've told you this. I've told you this many times. What? Oh, it's... Tis the season. I didn't want to use my dried out jerky to get back to full health and control my hunger. So I went deep into the beefalo territory again. I also picked up Abigail, which we misplaced earlier. Don't mind me, guys. Just want to pick up my sister that you've killed. <laughs> to be fair, I've killed a lot more of you than you've killed of, of us. So gonna let that slide for now. I cooked and ate the last pieces of food I had. At first I was thinking I should craft a new handbag, but I didn't have the required pigskin anyway. So I threw that idea in the bin and went ahead towards the portal. Okay. This is it. This is what I'm going with. Activate. Let's go. Going towards the darkness. Oh my god. Oh, 13 days. Not bad for King of Winter. And now, onto somewhat unfamiliar territory. And we're back. Into darkness. You insolent, pitiful, insignificant ant. Do not arouse the wrath of the great Maxwell. Well, you're not so great. I won't. I won't. I won't regret it. Not this time. First order of business is to pick up the backpack that is always present when you start this chapter. You always get grass, logs, a blueprint for a miner's hat and two random items. Then we harvest what we can in our proximity. We had a shortage of saplings and flints last time. We do not seem to have a shortage of mer people, merman people, mermen this time around. Oh yeah, we're surrounded by a swamp here. Ooh, that means we need to go through the treacherous land of the shooting penises. The swamp biome is especially dangerous at night as it's harder to see the potential tentacles that want to smack you. I warmed up by doing some slapping myself and got two fish. I wanted to make a hammer to tear down this house for the goodies, but I was missing rocks. Usually where there's mermen, there's also loot to be plundered from their previous battles with everything that moves. I got myself more fish, a few frog legs, and a tentacle spike. Keep an eye on that floor. Floor is lava out here in the wilderness. A lot of free food here in the beginning. I like it. As I was surrounded by the swamp, I had no choice but to enter. I collected the spoils of war with light feet and cheesed it when the merman came too close for comfort. I got the backpack now, but I, sh I think I should uh, actually prioritize a log suit when walking through this minefield of a swamp. Draws closer. Very nice. Ooh, rocks. Rocks was a welcome sight. Needed for both healing cells and a hammer if I wanted to tear down a few pig houses for their skin. I think all the items is gonna be in a separate region. So we need to get off this main island somewhere. Just like in King of Winter, each region might be blocked off by either obelisks or boulders. So we need to have a pickaxe ready and only go through the obelisks when we're confident we do not have to go back again to make it easier on us. Move those feet, Wendy. Move those feet, Wendy. Getting closer again. I saw a way out of the swamp and gladly took it. <gasps> oh, what the fuck? You're not supposed to be able to be there. The tentacle seems to have a buffer zone close to the swamp. I entered an area with a lot of Maxwell's tooth trap. They are basically mines, so tread lightly. My HP had now taken a toll. I was getting hungry and we were constantly drained mentally. So I cooked enough frog legs to satiate myself and just in time before these hands grabbed my fire. I think it's best to just ignore them and do whatever business you need to do quickly and leave the area as they also drain your sanity if you stay too close to them. Gold nugget. I don't think I need a gold nugget, do I? 
Niter is not something that I need, but what I do need is spider glands and more silk for those healing cells. They might save our life one day. Abigail was not entirely ready, but I served up a few spiders anyway before moving on. Something wicked is here, cool. Ring thing, perfect. I cooked the fish so it would not rot and then burned the evil flowers for the rashes. Great stuff. Abigail was now ready, so I carefully placed her delicate flower on the ground and slapped this bird around. That I don't understand. Do you sell your soul when you kill a tall bird? <laughs> Why? Why is that a thing? I'd never noticed it before, but there's a price to pay to spawn Abigail, which turned out is 15 sanity. That pushed our sanity over the edge, and now our shadowed monsters were out to get us. I think I'm gonna save my blue caps for when I go into an area with a lot of other enemies, so I don't wind up in a sanitarium while I'm fighting off other creatures. I think that's the way to go. I think that's my plan. For now, at least, the plan always changes. The missions change. They always do. We adapt, we learn, we overcome. As there was an abundance of rocks nearby, I got collecting. Might as well catch these while I'm waiting for my imagination to run wild. Which was a theme during my last attempt. Once you go insane, you kill one of these shadow creatures. Get some relief until it's time to kill another one. It's kind of symbolic of one's real mental state. I ran into a touchstone which is always a sight for sore eyes. I spared what I could which included a torch, two jerky and blue caps, along with grass, logs, twigs and my half rotten ham bed, as I made myself a shiny new one. I also made myself a hammer and tore down the pig head spikes. Let's chop some trees, Wendy! Abigail and I was out hunting spiders when we found a gentleman offering up a few twigs and a grass suit. I'm gonna take that grass suit and I'm gonna leave it at the touchstone. We need a contingency plan, okay? A smart don't starve player is a prepare don't starve player. Oh, are we close to a swamp or? No, they're just showing off. That no merman is welcome into our pig village. It's go time, motherfucker. I can hit real people with the divining rod or spiders and such, but I can't hit these shadow monsters with my divining rod. It's supposed to be divine, isn't it? I raided and plundered the nearby pig town. Abigail, you take care of the living, I'll take care of the dead. Which is ironic. <laughs> Should be the other way around, shouldn't it? The shadow monsters, aka figments of my imagination, was now running wild every three minutes or so. Incredibly annoying and time consuming. Foul tarnished. I don't know what that means, but I've, I've, I like yelling it. Such a good line for some reason. Oh, uh, okay. Where did my backpack go? On my back. Uh, <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake, why am I doing that? It's the second time. I have a knack for not being able to tell the handbat and regular sticks of meat apart when trying to equip the handbat, which also costs us a few points of sanity. Abigail engaged in combat for every spider and tall bird on stilts she could possibly see. Bad ghost. Stop killing nests, Abigail. <laughs> Too bad there's not a menu for Abigail where you can, like, control her a little bit more deliberately. Nice, nice. It's good to find another item. It's gonna be good for morale, for the team. The wickedness draws closer. Don't need to know. Just the box thing. Oh, no way. Did it give a signal right away? I think so. Let's check up here. I picked up a few flowers on the way to restore a few points of sanity and it didn't take long until we found the next item. I got three things now. Fucking hell. Good start, good start. I was annoyed that I kept getting interrupted by the figments of my imagination, so I whipped up a campfire and cooked a few blue caps to restore my sanity to a comfortable level. I followed that up by killing a few porkmen and got pleasantly surprised by the drop rate of meat. Another club of meat. What have I done to deserve this? I've been a good girl. I deserve presents and all the happiness in the world. Oh, fuck yeah, we're getting closer again. Keep on trucking, Abigail. Keep on trucking. You know the spoilers. Then we got some bad news. Oh man! But then we can do this, at least. That might be stupid though. <laughs> oh, but we, what we can do. Okay, this might be, this might be a fucking genius move actually. Survival? I can make another backpack. And I'll store all my stuff here. Because that doesn't give off a signal. Oh! God, gamer in human form, I tell you, I'm telling you. Crazy like that, I'm crazy like that. Okay, we need to go through the obelisk later on, of course, but there might be another item in this area first. Probably, the portal is probably behind those obelisks then. We turned around and looked for a signal on the main island instead. I wanna play a game, but this time, survive, okay? Fucking survive, survive the fucking game. Don't go and tread on all fucking traps. Fucking survive the game, so I can meet you in person, bitch. Bitch, you're a bitch. I'm not a bitch. Don't call me that. I'm a beautiful, beautiful young lady. 
with mental issues. Don't tell no one. Right now I feel kinda calm about everything. But the signal was weak and I've covered a lot of ground. The inevitable march towards the obelisks are getting closer. Ugh, Sarah Connor. Another victim to the Skynet. <laughs> But I didn't want to go back before I was sure the main island was empty. Done and dusted. I have a lot of meat, so if I want to drain my sanity later, I could eat the meat. But I also want to... But that also depends if I have the jerk and if it's still fresh. Watch out for these motherfuckers. They'll get ya! I'm gonna leave the backpack here, because I'm gonna go back this way anyway, right? Yes. An increase. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yes. Don't stop, Abigail. I'm not coming back for you. Ah, oh, god damn it. I would have loved an another touchstone. But you can't be too greedy in this game. You'll have to take what is given to you. Ah, I'm just an innocent bystander. I'm just an innocent bystander. There's no such thing as an innocent bystander. You do your part. I haven't seen Abigail for a, for a while. And I think I have the answer. <laughs> She's dead. She's double dead. I got my dear sister back and collected a few things on my way back to the wall. And when we got closer, the signal also got stronger. Which made me a very happy man, because that means I basically know the general location for the last item and the portal. To lose the required sanity for the pillars to drop, I ate raw meat and went on through. What's... What's making that noise? What's making that noise? There's some evil in the darkness over there. The fog of war. Attack. There's something there. Oh! <gasps> No, Abigail, no! No, 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 Let's go through here. Oh, yeah, she, if I remember correctly, she's not very quick, so. Just make it through. Just make it through these spiders. Yeah, you're dead, Abigail. You're, you're a hundred percent dead. It's fine, it's fine, we're alive. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Yes. We have it. Before moving on, I took a breather and healed up. We have all we need now. Now we just go up there. My god! Ooh! I ran into flowers, so we snatched a few to restore our sanity. Yeah, it's fine. We're alive. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, I was a little bit scared there for a moment, but we're alive. If we get to the portal and you need to add things to the portal again, so you're not- if, if you can add items, then I'm gonna be very suspicious. And I'm also not- I also don't know what to do then. What to bring. <laughs> so just in case, I made a new handbag and log suit, just to prepare for the worst. Always prepare for the worst, people. We might do this. Might. Pfft. We're gonna do this. My god, guys, we have all this stuff. We're getting closer to the portal. If it's a portal, I'm not sure. It might be something else. It's gonna be a portal. What do we put in the portal, though? Gonna take care of these guys, so I don't need to bother with them later on. Dead. Light up the flowers in the vicinity so I don't lose a lot of sanity when I'm gonna stand here later on. So I can make a good decision. No rash decisions based on fear. Oh man. Oh, are we doing this? Are we conquering adventure mode? Oh, I need to add stuff. Uh, this might not be a bad thing to to have. I think we're gonna go with this. Is there gonna be another chapter or are they just fucking with us? Journey onwards. This will remove all your items and destroy your current world. Only items placed in the machine will appear in the next world. Yeah, okay. I thought it was something else. That's the exact same as it's been for all the chapters, so <laughs> I'm just... I'm just super, super nervous. What What's going on here? I thought it was... Is it, it's chapter 5 out of 5. There's not supposed to be another chapter. This is supposed to be the end. What is this hellhole? We're going to the next chapter. What is going on? Oh, I'm on edge. We're, but we're gamers. Find your courage, because we're moving on to chapter 6 out of 5. Generating world? Fuck you! No! This was supposed to be the end. I'm not here for it. I'm not here for it. You hear me, world? I'm not here for it. Checkmate epilogue. Fuck. Oh, the miner's hat. Not a bad choice. But do you know what is a bad choice? Missing to bring the divining rod, you fucking forehead. Oh, are we, are we actually going to fight Maxwell? Someone is playing the accordion. Or it might be something else. <laughs> what's... Oh, what's going on? What is going on? Just follow the lights. Just follow the lights. Follow the music. Just follow the music. Losing a lot of sanity. Uh, I'm losing my own sanity. I'm oh! No way! 
Oh shit, what's going on? Is this how it ends? Thank you, I've been listening to that f song for an eternity. Examine Nightmare Lock. Do I attack him or am I supposed to find a fucking key? Oh shit, he destroyed my- I need to find a key then. Okay, I need to find a key. I'm pretty sure I need to find a key. Hmm, where might we find a key that fits that lock and that resembles the same lock we've put the divining rod into for all these chapters? Hmm. Hmm! A shadow man- I will learn unspeakable things, but I don't have anything. So, and there's no fog of war. For fuck's sake, what is this? Okay, chests. What are we supposed to build then? We're probably supposed to build something. My confirmation bias is in full force. Maybe Maxwell has been tortured all this time. We need to help him. What are we going to make? Uh, the shadow manipulator thing is obviously gonna help us with something, I guess, then. Oh, maybe there's, there, maybe we just need to f find the materials to actually make a shadow key or something. There's probably a shadow key to make. Am I being stupid? I'm asking you, because I don't know if I'm being if I'm being stupid. You're being stupid, like a lot. Am I wasting time? I went back to the shadow manipulator and saw something that promised to protect me from death. So I made it and put it on. What just happened? Remove that shit. What the fuck was that? I don't like this. I'm gonna have to do this. I'm gonna have to do this. I'm sorry, guys. I'm so sorry. This might be so fucking stupid. This might be wet goop, rot, or whatever right away. Someone is gonna... <laughs> Someone is gonna give me a lot of shit in the comments. I just... I just... I can feel it. The miner's hat and the fireflies was a good choice. A good choice. Don't tell me anything different. It was a good choice. I'm scared, guys. I'm scared. I'm scared. I was roaming around and found a familiar portal, and I couldn't keep my mitts off it. What? What just happened? What the fuck did I do? What the fuck did I do? Something Maxwell apparently have tried as well. Ugh. 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 Are you trapped, Maxwell? How long have you been trapped? Aren't you supposed to be like a puppet master? I don't see no puppets. If, unless I'm the puppet. My god. Chester came up and said hello. Oh. Do I need to dig up some graves? My thought was still that a key might be hidden somewhere. So I went grave robbing, draining my sanity in the process. Oh, I don't have a weapon. God damn. Okay, so this was probably worthless then. With no weapon, I decided to run away from the horrific monsters and explore at the same time. Oh, now you're two of these lanky bastards? Do I get sanity from meatballs? Do I get sanity from meatballs? I might. Five! Yes! To resort to this. Fisticuffs with imaginative monsters. Running wild. Should I put this on again? See, I have 56. This last minute decision might have saved this entire run and maybe even my life. No! No, God, please, no, 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 no! Oh my God, life-giving amulet, you bastard, I love you. Let's check in the beginning here again. And then we're gonna go back and then we're gonna put on another life-giving amulet. Oh, wait, did I miss that one? Am I just supposed to put that in there? No, no, don't tell me this. Don't, that, don't, no, 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 no. No, 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 I won't have it. I won't accept that. No, I won't. How did I miss grabbing the divining rod? This is just for fucking with me, I guess. You can free Maxwell, but I doubt his captors will be pleased. Well, what am I gonna do? Let's do it. We'll see what happens. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, are we gonna become? Yes! We are! We're... That wasn't very good, was it? We're trapped. We took his place. The end. And so the cycle continues. Will Wendy ever escape? Perhaps she too will tire of this wretched place and use her new powers to tempt the unsuspecting. The mysterious being that controls this place still lurks in the shadows, and new challenges will soon be revealed. Until then, the Don't Starve team. For science! We did it! Yeah, we're gamers! We're gamers. And we are Maxwell now.
We're Maxwell. Hell yeah. We did it. I fucking did it. Hi <laughs> oh. Uh 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 uh. All right. Fucking eat your vegetables, motherfuckers. We're done. Fuck yeah. Feels good to have done this. The second playthrough was just a massive success. I just hauled my ass through all the chapters. I did everything right. Fuck yeah, guys. Fuck yeah. Eat your vegetables. Bye, I'll see you in the next one. Where we take on another 100, 100 days or something. I don't know. I don't know. I don't care right now. I'm high on victory. Success. Eat your vegetables again for a third time. Boy. Boy.